Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Disgaea 1 Complete. We are playing Etna Mode and we are, um, well, we're in a new chapter. We talked to this dude already. We're going to go around and talk to all our peeps as we do, like we do. I never knew you were a space detective. Your demon look is just a disguise. You should be a little more doubtful. Oh no, our hearts are as pure as a child's. We could never doubt you. Uh huh. Dragon, question. How do you become a space detective? Get a stupid angel to think you're one. You tell him, Draddy. Really, really, Etna, punch, punch, punch. What the heck is that song? It's the theme song for the space detective. I made it up. Creepy. What do you think? Isn't it cool? Mm. Uh, whatever. Just don't come up with some dumb super move, okay? Yeah, we're gonna leave now. So, space detective, can I get your autograph for my kids? You people are determined to make me a space detective, aren't you? I didn't know that, and I was a space detective. Don't believe everything you hear. I feel a breeze, dude. The castle's getting old, and then this just tells us about the code to actually unlock Etna mode. <sighs> Let's talk to the Zambi. I heard from the Prinny Squad that Beauty Queen Space Detective Etna. Yes! Is going to become a Hollywood film. I'm gonna kill them. So I've done a little bit more reading and research and stuff around NIS America, and there's a lot of weird and interesting stuff that I have found. So I, I don't know if I've mentioned this, so I'll, I'll say it again. Uh, obviously, I've been continuing to level people up. Edna's near her 95, 96 level. Arzla's getting up there as well. I need to heal a few people apparently. Um, Planair. She's up to 72. Asagi uh, is up to 58. And apparently, she is... Uh, how, to, how to explain it? Because I, I've read a few different things, and they seem to contradict one another. So, one of the things I read was she was supposed to have a starring role in a game that was coming out that was postponed indefinitely. But I've also heard that she was a star of a game that did come out. So, I don't know like if one news story one wiki entry whatever it was i was reading was older incorrect or what the deal was but essentially there's another game called makai kingdoms i think it is from nis uh, nippon ichi software and i think it's very much like this game and asagi i believe is the protagonist in that game and there's a few other titles from NIS America that I hadn't heard before that are all very similar to the Disgaea series in general. And that's where Zeta and Pram and all the other people that we see in Disgaea 2 PC that are unlockable, that's where they all came from. Or at least a lot of them did, including like Phantom Brave, we had Morona and we had Ash, I believe it was. So there's a lot of games that are similar to this from NIS America that I didn't even know existed back in like the PS2 era. Of games and some are on the PS3. So there's a ton of stuff that I really, really hope that NIS America does release onto PC, onto PS4, or whatever, remastered editions, what have you, because I really like the games that they put out. So I am I'm looking forward to seeing what they decide to come up with and what they're going to release. Uh, I heard there was another game, La Pusil, or something along those lines, Tactics sounds and looks pretty good i haven't actually tried it out or seen too much about it but that's another game that's supposed to be really really cool so keep your eyes open for all those things guys and gals anyway enough of that let's get on with the story um is there anything super important or special to tell you about oh no but i know what i wanted to do before i left um eventually we'll go back through we'll summon the thing and we'll get the prism ranger but right now that's not what we're going for right now we're going to go for our promotion exam and yeah, we'll fight a serpent and three decoys. Uh, I believe I did that one with Laharl. Uh, I think that's the last one that I had done. So, we're going to try... Oh, can I move that far? No, it doesn't look like it. That's fine. We're just going to come over here and... 
I don't know if we're going to be able to kill him straight up, but we'll attack him. Let's just see what our basic attack does. Ah, pretty good. About half, his, half of his HP. I'm okay with that. Do we retaliate? We don't retaliate at all. No. Alright, so, instead of moving, let's uh, go ahead and attack again. Should be enough to get rid of him. Oh, of course it wasn't. Of course it wasn't enough. Ugh, game. We do 700 once, and then we do, like, 0 hundred the next time. I think he just killed his own guy. Oh yeah, he absolutely did. Also, that was... that was a lot of damage. And that doesn't have a tremendous amount of HP. Huh, I know I have items, but... Oh, I, I do have some that heal me. So if I move here, I use Chaos Impact. You think that's I'm going to be lucky enough for that to do enough damage to kill? Or do you think I'm just going to die if I do that? Um, yeah. We're going to roll the dice. We're going to say that maybe. Maybe we get lucky enough that it does enough damage. I hope. I mean, I've used it enough in my power level and all the other stuff that I've done that it should be a high enough rank to do like 1,200 to these guys. Yeah, at least. Okay, good. So I'm feeling I'm feeling better about this. I mean, the the shark could still get me, but the shark didn't get me. I'm not gonna run the risk. I am gonna use an item because I don't feel like just dying because of dumbness. My own dumbness. Can we use something that's not quite as expensive? That should be enough. I think I'll move here. See if the shark follows. That's it. Oh, oh, now we counter. Yeah, I don't, I don't really understand why we decided to counter that particular attack, but that's fine. Once again, Chaos Impact's coming out. We gonna drop a big old rock on his head. They're firing a bunch of little blasts. Not gonna be feeling too good after that. He's having kind of a bad day there. And I believe he dies real, real, real soon. Like right now, basically, we're gonna kill him. Supernova's coming out. I mean, eh. He's got 167. If I can't do 167 damage, mm, I'm not going to be a happy man. Dead. 820. Alright, so we passed the exam. Had to use an item. Not really a big fan of having to use items to pass things, but it is what it is. We're going to save because I'm going to maybe try the next one. I just want to see what the next one brings. I think there's a bunch of dragons that we have to fight or something. So we're just going to do a quick save here. Or as quick of a save as we can do. Again, PS4 saving so much slower than PC, but that's okay. All right, Edna, what's your next promotion exam bring? Bunch of dragons. I don't know that I want to do that one just yet. We'll see. Did I unlock anything additional? Uh, an alternate netherworld. I don't know what that means. But that seems to be the thing that we've unlocked. We have belt inventory. We have all the inventories. We have Planar and we have the uh, main character. Prison Ranger is still on the field, so that's something we can do eventually. I will eventually also unlock the Cave of Ordeal. So some of these I might do on my own, just like unlocking stuff, just like I, I've slowly unlocked more expensive, more expensive, more expensive stuff. We're getting close to the end of that whole scenario. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's fine. All right, anyway, that's that's it for the promotions for now. We'll, we'll come back to it later. Let's get on with the story. Let's see what the next area brings. Where would I like to go? Looks like to Denaro Palace. That's with the pig guy, right? The gaudy entrance. Let's go there. Ah, what a pain in the butt. You mean that angel, Flan? Yes, Flan. What's wrong with her? 
She's totally whacked out. That's true. Yeah, dude. I mean, space detective, dude. Angels creep me out sometimes. I'd rather be attacked by the entire 12th Demonborn Battalion than deal with her again. So, Master Etna, what are we gonna do now, dude? There's only one thing to do. The prince is gonna go out and kick some more butt. Are we gonna continue this charade, dude? Of course. <laughs> we need to make it seem like the prince is growing in strength. And by doing so, I can make that jerk live in fear. Please think about the ones who have to die for your fun, dude. <laughs> I may be able to get them back if I can just outwit him. Anyway, we're at this golden castle, so let's change our strategy a little. All right. This time, let's take the castle as a whole. That's not changing the strategy at all, dude. <laughs> Ooh, we got a bunch of zombies on the field of battle. What's this? No entry. So just basically kill this thing. Yeah. What we got on the backside here? A debonair. A debonair. <laughs> it's fine. Eh. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, level 80s. Level 85s. 85. And you're 90. Yeah. So their scaling's not super high. It's also not super low either. Recovery. Null. Meh. All right. Well, we'll, we'll use Planair to to start off the zombie massacre with. We we'll use the Usagi drop, and then we'll bring in, I guess, Star and her amazing range that she has. We'll go ahead and we'll drop that there. We'll get her to move out of the. Oh, she got a cast first. Then we can move her. My bad. My bad. I knew these things. Huh? <laughs> Not sure who we're gonna get kills to. Alright, let's get you out of the way. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could give it to Edna if we really wanted to. Can Edna jump over the other things? No. Can she? Yeah, she can jump behind. Let's see if Antros can't do some cool stuff too. So between the two of them, they should be able to do a decent amount of just destruction. All right, let's execute. Let's see what happens. That was pretty impressive. I mean, I've seen more impressive, but it wasn't bad. Alright, I know who's getting a kill. He's turning on his brethren. He wants to show them that he is super special. Try the zombie twister. See if it does anything. Get him, Zombasaur! Oh, yeah. Look at that. That was, that was pretty good. That was sick. He actually did some damage. I'm mildly impressed. Uh, she's got some sick range. As a, She's a monster character, essentially, in this game. Isn't she just adorable? Anyway, she's got some sick range. She can attack from pretty far out. She does okay damage. I haven't seen any skills with her, though. So it's basically just auto attacks at this point. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but I mean, I, I guess I can accept it. We'll try the triple strike here. The try burst, but I'm hoping it doesn't kill. It did. Because I had plans that I wanted to utilize. This might not kill him, but it's also probably going to. Let's see. Oh yeah, that did more damage than I anticipated. Not gonna lie. That was quite a bit of damage. Alright, Arzla, what do we got for ya? You're yeah, probably gonna do some damage too. I don't know if it's gonna work because of the weird height thing. No, it's, it's good. Maybe? 
Am I maybe an outright murder? I did not. But she's like in the spot that I wanted to... Mm. Actually... Will that reach? That'll be close. No, that's one short. That's what I thought. Well... I guess we just chill here. We see what the fallout's gonna be. Aerosol? What the? Oh, I think Zombasar died. Yep. Well, that's not cool. I need to level her up as well. I need to get her to the next tier of spells. Alright, so we're gonna cast that. We're gonna blast through them. Whatever Zombasar went from like level 24 to 30 or something like that. I mean, he, he gained some levels. He got some stuffs out of that, so it's, it's all good. Try burst that down. Not nearly going to be enough. Uh, yeah, I suppose I could probably Hurricane Slash, actually. How about Wings, Wing Slayer? Hmm. What if I do that from here? Winged Slayer. I think that's fine. That'll work. We'll just step aside. Let that go. I don't use it that often, so I don't know how much damage it actually does. But it hits a pretty wide area, so... Not enough to kill off this thing. Oh, that's, that's about right. Don't worry, we got it with our monster. Asagi says, no worries. Problem solved. Business handled. Wow. Nuclear launch detected. Cool. Okay. So. I feel like a little bit of payback would be nice. Because, you know, at night Dunn got hit. She doesn't like getting hit. She doesn't like getting hit at all. So she leaps up, she fires her multitude of blasts, and drops the rock on him. That's right, pain and suffering will ensue. And it did. D -d 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 Double kill. Sadly, it's not enough to really level her up. Oh, she got she hit 90. Huh, I don't. Did she level up in her uh, promotion exam? I I must have missed it. Maybe she leveled up doing something on this map. I don't know. I miss things. It happens. Um, I think they're outside the Wing Slayer deal. Yeah. But, we have solutions to these problems. <laughs> Montrose, I think, is the same level 72 as Planair, who's also 72. Yep. Throw! All right, we're gonna let we're gonna let Bumpy McGee here do uh, Bumpy McGee things, and get wrecked. You're not gonna finish it, dude. Don't say that. Don't say that. It just makes a liar out of you. You are absolutely not going to finish it. Um, nope. Yeah, it works. It's not going to be enough still. It's fine. It'll do some damage, though. It's like a fair amount. More than I actually expected, to be honest. Alright, not sure who I'm going to give the kills to. I'm probably going to double them up and, and try to get the double kill. Oh, but Planair is going to get swarmed by double zombies.
I mean, overall, it should be fun, but it's still a little bit humorous. I see the comedic value in this. We can do it the Leo. Well, we'll see. Yeah, we'll pick up Sludge. Because why not? Edna, can you not kill him outright? She did exactly what I asked her to. That's that's actually impressive. Planera, I'm gonna need you to move. Thank you. And we're going to go with our one of our stronger attacks. And hopefully it's enough. Bam, it is enough. Enough with a vengeance. Alright, so we got some level ups there. Almost 100,000 in monies. Go ahead and throw a quick heal out there. Alright, let's see where we're at now. So 90, 72, 81, 84, we got a 45 there, 72, Leo's at 37, I mean he was 33, he gained 4 levels off that, that's that's alright. Stars at 67, Tamlin's at 36, Sage is at 25, Butch is at 11. We still have a lot of work to do. And Commissar's at 30. But, we're getting there. We're getting there slowly, and I'm okay with that. Alright, let's head into the next area. I mean, I know we're a bit short on time, but I'm doing a double episode this time around, so I don't need to uh, break it off and end right away. I remember this place. Alright, recovery, 20%. Ally damage, 20%. And attacks, plus one. Ally damage. Uh, how much is that? To kill it? That is a lot to kill it. Um... I, mean, I know she does some work, but does she do that much work? I'm gonna say no. I was wrong, she does that much work. Okay, I chose well. How is that possible? I mean, like, it's fine. I'm not really complaining. I'm just a little confused. Like, how is it possible that. Like, that our starting location, the, the portal, is technically on a colored tile. I find that to be a little bit strange. However, our bonus gauge went up. Like I said, we did some work. We got some stuff handled. It's fine. Alright, so what I need now is Etna. I don't think Etna can do what I want her to do. Hmm... Maybe. Let's see if the Chaos Impact... Oh no, she can't. Boo. Alright, well I had my hopes, but they've been dashed against the Jagged Teeth of Reality. I mean, I suppose we could... Hmm, that seems dangerous too. Let's do the... Nope, that's not gonna work either. Doesn't seem like there's any way I can hit both of them. Short of uh, some maneuvering tactics, maybe? Slade can throw oddly ridiculous amounts. Throw you there. Uh, it's gonna be a gonna be a hard task to bring you down. But we gonna try it. We gonna try it with a little bit of Omega Star, and then we gonna come over here and we gonna bring out Etna. And unfortunately for us, Etna can't 
hit her normal skill. So we do that. One air. She can do the drop, so that's good. Uh, Bumpy can't really do much of anything. I'm not really sure why I put her here. I'm actually going to move her. She doesn't need to be that close. I always underestimate exactly how far she can cast spells. Like, it's an absurd amount of distance. Alright. The silent one doesn't speak, but launches an attack nonetheless. Hmm... I was hoping we do about 3,000. We did not. We did not even come close to doing 3,000. Alright, so... That means is we're going to have to sacrifice someone. Which is not great, but okay, I guess. I'll finish this. It's fine. Probably going to be Kimira. My wife is going to take it for the team, I suppose. Alright, do we have enough to kill that one off? I think so. This app should be able to do this. Triburst should be enough one, too. Oh, it is not even close. Hmm. Any other hard hitters? I mean... Hmm. Not really. Well, that's kind of poopy. Alright, well, we're just gonna attack Thosiosis. Oh, that was so close. Alright, let's see what we're uh, dealing with here. Yeah, I figured this was gonna happen. Eh. Who are you, Omega Healing? A zombie that's not even hurt. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. You, you do that. Okay, so Kimira just got sacrificed. Again, that's fine. Uh, I think we're gonna give this to Leo. I don't see him not getting the kill on this guy. is gonna come up here and do a bit of a damage to our Patriot. We get a level up, even if we did split some of the experience there. Alright, what's the guy looking at now? 1504. Alright, I think we can go and do the Chaos Impact from here. And why not? Let's have, we'll have Asagi drop something on her. Drop that shot, do that blast. It would be alright. I think once we kill this guy off, we'll probably break off the episode. Wow, we are just the most unlucky of people. I know who I want to bring out. Can you do it uphill, Vlad? I don't know if it's going to be enough. It might do zero damage. Yep. That's that was my fear. It's alright. It's alright. Might still have something we can do here. Nope. Just wasting a lot of time. Alright, um Guess it falls to zap. Special try, goodbye, and die. Alright, so he is a level higher. We'll go stick you over here. This will move Planera up, and that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will 
See you later.